They, are they growing wild, or did you cultivate them? No, I didn't cultivate them. No, no, I'm down my best, but all back there by my garage. Mm-hmm. They got a, uh, I got the table and stuff, but I bet I got a, and I got rose bushes and everything, and I, it's, it's got to go. It's, it's, I got to get them up. It's becoming unmanageable? Uh, yeah, I think so. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. You're back by the wildflowers, the, 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 the carpet, he, in that area. Well, in back of the garage, yeah. Mm -hmm. they, they, they got all mixtures in there. Mm -hmm. hmm. Well, let's go take a tour. That's What's a starter. This, this the. Uh -oh. That's okay. Uh, I'll do this one. What brand is this? Is this the? Uh, this. Act two. This is the Act two. I got some more out there in the. In the uh, yeah, I've taken some good pictures lately. I'll show you them pretty soon here. Like that door molding and stuff. Well, they can, they can, they can, even with curves? Huh? Even curved? Did you have a jig for it? No, no. We, all I was just linear. It was just, just mm -hmm. linear. It would just go out. <laughs> What are you going to do? I'm going to pop you some popcorn. You can take more. What's your technique going to be this time that's different? Okay. One minute. When is he? How many seconds? 45 seconds. You're pretty sure that's going to do it? One. Well, one minute, 50 seconds. It says on the, from the bag. Okay, let's try it. Well. Yeah. More certain habits became the rage. I was rather gone. You getting it kind of fixed? You're just trying to get it to cushion your the nose area. November? Yeah, November the 10th. 10, well, wow, we've, uh, well, we'll be updated. Mm -hmm. Wanting to squint. Wanting to squint, that's one of the title, chapter titles. Okay, Monday, no, that is Saturday the 10th. Okay. Good things during bad times. First Peter. Let's see. First Peter. First Peter one. Peter's right after Hebrews. I got it. Okay, good. One. First Peter. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who according to his abundant mercy has begotten us again to live a, to, in a living hope through the resurrection 
of Jesus Christ from the dead. Oh, I got that. Two and the nine, okay. All the way to nine? To, to the inheritance uh, incorruptible and undefiled that does not fade away, reserved in heaven for you who are kept by the power of God through faith for salvation, ready to be revealed in the last time. In this you will greatly rejoice now, for a little while, if need be, you have been grieved by the various trials, that the genuineness of your faith being much more precious than gold that perishes, through, though it is tested by fire, be found to praise, honor, and glory at the revelation of Jesus Christ, whom, having not seen, you love. Through now you do not see him, yet believing you rejoice with a joy inexpressible and a full of glory, receiving the end of your faith, the salvation of your souls. Thus the end of the reading. Good things during bad times. Okay. The good, that's a good reading. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> good things during bad times. So, all kinds of trials. So you, you know what? That's the title. Good things during bad times. Okay. All kinds of trials have come so that the proven genuineness of your faith may result in praise, glory, and honor when Jesus Christ is revealed. First Peter one six seven. Why might God want to use a crisis in your life? We naturally consider crises to be bad, but God often does some very good things through these bad experiences. There are things that God teaches in, in the crisis that are much harder for us to learn at other, than at other times. For instance, in the crisis, we believe, begin to discover just how little control we have over our lives. Humbled, we being to pray, we we being to pray more sincerely and worship more deeply. We may also begin to realize what really matters most to us. Our crisis experiences is usually leave us leave us more appreciative of the people and less possessed with possessions. Crises have, have a way of making us unhappy, which isn't all bad either, as our happiness is stripped away and God can help us to discover a kind of peace that can be richer than we would ever imagine that our ha happiness could be. And through it all, we get some good practice at sniffing out God's presence in the middle of a situation that often just stinks. <laughs> when we resist this kind of faith, we miss the point entirely. When we cooperate with God, we begin to discover the richness that long, lasts long after the critic crisis has passed. What kind of blessing has God brought you during the crisis in your life? That's a good question. Mm -hmm. The prayer. Good things during bad times. Lord, use our suffering to lead us to closer to you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And amen. amen. In the name, in name of, of the Father, Father and of the, the Son, Son, and the Holy, Holy Spirit. Spirit. Amen. amen and amen. Well, real good. In compass, to shut in all around, surround, encircle, to contain, include, in passment, noun, that's a noun, in passment. Mm -hmm. yeah, just or, keep pumping back and forth. Oh. Yeah, get, get a full range of motion. It's going. It's moving. Can you feel it tensioning up a little bit? Yeah. Keep going. Keep going. You'll get. You'll make that log pop. 
and you'll be amazed because that's a big log. It'd be really hard to do that by hand, wouldn't it? Yeah. Oh, you'll make it. You'll make it. I can hear it groaning already. Another pump. It's that that wedge is already embedded into the log. I'd say in about three more pumps you'll have it split. We'll give it another pump. All right. Well, you're, you it's, see a big crack developing there? Yeah, I'd say one more pump and you'll hear a big pop. Easy does it. It's really almost ready to go. Isn't that something, Howard? Now use the high gear since you'll, you'll have very little resistance and you'll see that the piston will travel a lot faster. Use the other lever. Yeah, that's a higher higher gear. Meaning meaning it's harder to do until you until there's very little resistance. Then you're you're noticing the piston travels a lot further per per per, per uh, pump, doesn't it? That's good, Howard. You've done it. Oh, it's split up. Here. Well, of course it's split. You did it. You can keep going if you want. It's totally up to you. Because if you keep going, it'll totally come apart and fall off. Yeah. What do you think? Splitting wood for your 91st birthday, huh? Don't you get your fingers caught. No, you're good there. Oh. No. We beheld what? Huh? And, and John Bohr uh, tells us about John. See? Uh, bore, uh, it, it, it works. It, it, it's John the Baptist. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, no, where are you? Oh, full of great. Uh, did I miss a verse? No, you're right there. John bore witness of him who cried out. John was the herald of, 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 of Jesus. Yeah. Uh, uh, cried out, crying, This is he whom I said, He who comes after me preferred before me, for he was before me, and his fullness we all have received grace for grace. Then the law was given to Moses, but grace and truth came through Jesus Christ. No one has ever seen God at any time. The only begotten Son whom the boot 